What's going on guys? This is SP Architect. Today I'm going to show you how to model parametric garden wall or fence that you are going to use in your project like this. This model will be parametric which you can change its settings after placing the project and you can enlarge or reduce its size. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial and you haven't already I suggest you to subscribe. And if you want to download this project file that I'm going to be creating, check out my Patreon first link in the description. If you go there, you can get access to all of my Archicad project files. But anyway, let's get started. At the beginning, I'm going to change the units of the project. I'm going to go to the working units for this and change it length unit to centimeter and click OK. We are going to use railing tool for this tutorial. This tool was designed to make stair and balcony generally, but we are going to use this as a garden wall. As you can see, when we use this at the default settings, an iron fence appeared. I press Ctrl plus T and go railing settings. As you can see, there are lots of settings here and below here is a possibility. The first thing here that I am going to do is change the overall height of the wall. To achieve that, I change this parameter under the segments menu. I am gonna go to this railing and change its absolute parameters to 50. And I change the main shape of the railing to rectangle, size to 50 and 20. In ARCHICAD, this parameter is always size of the axis of the, that unit. While we changing these settings, it can be a bit confusing. Therefore, I am going to input here half of the railing, which we are going to use as a base 25. I am going to select this inner post and define as a column so I change its shape to rectangle and change its size 45 and 45. In this window I can select a part of the railing and delete by clicking this minus button or delete key at the keyboard. I set up the inner post but main posts are still unchanged. I am gonna go to post menu and change its settings as I did for inner posts. And click OK. The shape that we created is this. We are going to increase the distance of the post and change the inner panel design. In order to achieve that, I am just gonna click the inner post and input 250 here. Size of the inner post seems to be a bit thick. I am gonna change it to 30 and 30. This looks good now. I must change the inner panel now. I am gonna click that and click minus. I click the railings and click the plus button. This will allow me create a new row of rail. I am gonna click anywhere on here. I am gonna input here 10 and 1 cm. And click OK. I am gonna make same things here. Place second one and complete the other railings to the top of the wall. As you can see here, it is increasing at the same distance. I add here 15 every time. And click OK to see the result. I have modeled the garden wall and this time it needs to be covered with different surfaces. If it is not covered, I may encounter problems while rendering. In order to achieve that, I am gonna click this arrow to move into 3D presentation panel. At the very bottom, I click this checkbox. In the opening window, I pick up any surface. I made a mistake here. Assign the surface after placed whole rails. Now I have to assign other parts one by one. Once I did that, I am just gonna change the inner post and main post, because I might want to assign different materials as I rendering. After changing the inner post, now I am going to change main post. I click override and select the same material. I am gonna change base wall surface now. Light grey. Ok. This is our garden wall. Let me check the final details. Main post can be reduced a bit smaller. I am going to go to post settings and change the size to 40 and 40 from 45. 
This is the, our first wall. Let's try this parametric wall with a slope surface. So I click the mesh tool and draw a simple one. I click the corner and in the opening menu when Z height is enabled, I click a higher level, reducing here. I hold down Alt key and click the wall and just simply create a wall around the mesh. As you can see, it occurs accordance with the slope. At the same time, top parts of the post get into accordance too. In order to change that, I press Ctrl T and go to post menu. For the top ending, I select horizontal and click OK. I have changed the main post. I must change the inner post too. I select the inner post and click the arrow. For the top ending, I click the horizontal again. Once we did that, this is the final looking. We have completed the garden wall. Let me show you how we can add this to favorites. Once we have selected the railing, press Ctrl plus T. You just click railing and click the big star up here. As you can see, there are additional preset fences here that you can use. I'm just gonna click the star with plus and input a name here and click OK. Our model now appears here. I can easily select and assign to any railings as I want. For example, I have changed this railing to another railing and I'm going to change this with my saved post. Let's do a second example. We are just gonna continue from this one. I press Ctrl plus T and click the railing then press the delete key. I click panel and click the plus button then click the screen to create a new one. For the railing panel 23, click wall panel 23. We can change the moldings here. There are ready to use moldings and you can change their parameters. I'm going to uncheck these options since I want to make a flat wall. At the same time, I change the override surface. Now I add an additional post. For the offset, I input 30. For the segment stop, 30 again and leave the bottom with 0. I place the plus to add an additional one with the same settings. Second post will be 180 cm from first one. For the big post, it should be sum of the first and the second, so 30. For the top part of the wall, I am just gonna place an additional railing. I click the rail and click the plus. For the absolute parameter, I input to 155. For the height, it's 30. Once we did that, the result looks like this. As you can see, we need to cut out the upper part and increase the thickness of the panel. So, I'm just gonna click this panel and delete. For the size of the post, I input 32 height, 22 width. I'm going to clean remaining parts here. I uncheck this box for the molding and 10 for the thickness. Let's save this model favorite too. I go to settings and click star. I click this star and input a name. Let's say that post 2. Here is an additional sample. Let's do something like this design. In order to achieve that, I'm just gonna copy this wall with Ctrl plus Shift plus D, then press Ctrl plus D for options. 
I click Delay and Delete. And also the panel. We need to insert additional panels between these two columns. Therefore, I increase the offset value of the big column. Once we did that, I am just going to click this post and add a new post in the center. I input for the offset 90, segment button 145. For the center part of the wall, we are going to use panel. I click the panel and click the center of the wall. And click the other side. For segments, I leave them zero. For the top segments, 50 cm. I change their surface material and click OK. Once we did that, as you can see, they got into each other. We are gonna fix their parameters. At this side, a bug has occurred. Although I have unchecked the molding box, they are still visible. I am going to change offset distance to fix that problem. As I said before, ArcCAD measure this distance from their axis. For example, if we want one meter space between two columns and if the columns are 60 cm, we must input 60 divided 2 equal 30 and plus one meter distance plus other columns 30 cm half distance. So we must input 160 there. For the panel molding bug, we are going to follow this way, changing panel type to built-in panel. After doing this, as you can see, moldings are gone. I change the surface of the panel by the way without forgetting. I'm just gonna add the same panel here now. I am doing same steps here. Copy the panel and place the same type from that. And change the surface. I am just gonna go to white brick. For the thickness of the panel, I go to this row right here. Once we did all of these settings, this is the, our third type of parametric garden wall. We can turn off the lines to see the model clearly from the visibility settings menu. Now we can add this to favors like before. I'm just going to click the main railing and click the star and give it a name. We have completed our garden fence, railing, wall or whatever you want to say. The way is the same. You just follow these steps and make your own design as you want. But anyway. That's it for this tutorial, thank you for watching, please subscribe and share this video. If you want to download this or any of my projects, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. You can download all of my project files so far, ok, that's pretty much it and I'll see you in the next video.